Hello and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. I'm not at home, actually. I'm in beautiful Lisbon, Portugal. And today I'm going to take you on an adventure. Then we're gonna go back to the kitchen in New York and make a quintessential, delicious Portuguese specialty. beautiful castle Solar do Castelo, where peacocks abound. Our wonderful guide, historian Margarita Moura, gave us an in-depth education on Portugal's past and served us to ginger at 10 o'clock in the morning. No complaints. We traveled in and around Lisbon, from its bustling cities to its blustery shores. visited castles, cathedrals, and enjoyed a traditional photo show. Now let's get to the food. Portuguese bread is famous for a reason. And the sweets? Holy cow. A good time was had by all. That was truly an amazing trip. And the food was incredible. Don't worry about packing on the pounds because you walk everywhere. And somehow it's all uphill, or so it seemed. Can't quite wrap my head around that. Anyway, we're going to make one of my favorite things that I had when we were there. I'm going to butcher <laughs> the Portuguese name, pastiche de bacalao. I think that's close. Uh, basically, they're codfish fritters. And if bacalao sounds familiar, it's the same thing as Italian bacala, which is a salted, preserved, dried codfish. I have worked with bacalao before. I don't like to. You have, first of all, you have to prepare it over the course of a couple of days. You have to soak it in water, change the water frequently. It takes two or three days at least, and still I find it to taste salty. What the Portuguese actually do, many of them, is they go to the fish market and they buy it already reconstituted. We're not even doing any of that. I am just using cod loin. It is boneless. And you could bake this for this recipe, but I think that might dry it out a little bit. You could poach it. I'm just going to steam it. You need soft sheep's cheese, three eggs, a pound of potatoes, some flat leaf parsley, and a small onion. So let's get started. I'm steaming the cod until it flakes with a fork. Then put it in a bowl and let it cool. Peel your potatoes, cut them in half, then put them in a pot of salted water and boil until they are fork tender. Mash them up and let them cool as well. Finally, chop your onion and your parsley. Our cod is cooled, and that's important because we're gonna be shaping this by hand. And our potatoes are cooled. So I'm just going to add those in. We'll add our finely chopped onion and give this a stir. You want to make sure the potatoes are well broken up and that the fish is well flaked. Now we're going to add about two tablespoons of the chopped parsley. and three eggs. We're going to add them one at a time. Boop. There's one. Now because we're not using true bacala, um, I'm going to have to season this with salt. If you're using bacala, uh, be very careful because as I said, no matter how many times I rinse it and drain it, to me it's too salty. Okay, that's one egg. 
got our second one. And finally, our last egg. So this ends up looking um, almost like a creamy egg salad. Can you see that? Now I'm going to give it a little taste test because like I said, it's going to need to be seasoned. It doesn't need much. It's very tasty. It's probably half a teaspoon of salt on the stove. I have vegetable oil heating to 350. You want it between 350 and 370. And as soon as you start adding the croquettes, the temperature is going to drop. So you have to keep your eye on the temperature. All right. That's ready. Now here we have our sheep's milk cheese or ewes cheese, which is very tangy. It almost tastes like it has white wine in it. It's so delicious. Um, it might be a little tough to find, but you want to go with this. You can use some other kind of cheese or you can skip the cheese entirely. There are two versions of this. One does not have cheese. Cheese is optional to some people, not to me. To me, cheese is life. Okay, so now in Lisbon, the way they shape these is they take two spoons I do not possess that kind of skill. And those did not have cheese in them. So I'm doing these by hand. You want them about the size of a very large egg. Kind of just doing this. But I have to put the cheese inside. You're just gonna scrape up. A piece of cheese about yay big. And I'm going to press it in the center and then shape it back around this. So I'm going to make a bunch of these and then we will move over to the stove and fry them up. Amazing. Now, just to be sure mine are as good or a close proximity to the ones we had in Lisbon, I invited our friends Karen and Steve over for dinner because they were in Portugal with us. So it's the moment of truth. Come on, let's go. Mm. Two wow. each. Wow, they look beautiful. Yes, yeah. yeah. mm. Oh, it smells good. Thank you. Mm. So who wants to make the toast? To travel. To, to travel. travel. I think yours mm. is going to taste better. Look Do you, that. Karen? Mm. But, mm. That's delicious. I what I used to. What though? I taste the cod. The cod tastes mm -hmm. mm. very light. Yeah. Fluffy. Oh, it's delicious. I taste the cod, and that's what right. I like about it. Yeah. And it's nice, flaky pieces. Is there potato in it? Yeah. Because yeah. I would, in, in Portugal, I taste more potato than I taste the cod. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I put 50 50. I put a pound of cod and a pound of potatoes. I think it's good. I think it's delicious. Right. I wouldn't want the cheese to overpower. I think it's good. So then let me just say mm. Mm. if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up, <laughs> become a subscriber, and leave a comment for me because I love to hear from you. Join me next time here at home with Anita Rosner. Say goodbye.